Uh oh. Glitching out of the system. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, ladies, gents, I wanted to preface this video by saying it is a long one, but you guys have to stick out to the very end. It's actually a pretty fun story quest, and you just gotta get through the nitty gritty, and it'll be super fun. And it, I actually enjoyed this quite a bit. I didn't expect to like it this much. I genuinely did. Obviously, it had a lot more lore to it. And it had some questions still about a lot of the stuff that might go on. It was generally pretty fun. And I wanted to know how you guys like this video format. Do you like the longer videos? Do you guys like if I edited it instead? So I wanted to, you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. As well as like this video if you obviously like it. Subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. Ooh, this is an event. Huh? You could say that. We hear all sorts what of is a fireside chat? Day. Really? Why not have a listen for yourselves? Yeah, but to us, dreaming is as normal as breathing. Mm. But if there are free drinks and snacks involved, then Paimon might consider it. Lutton Paimon. Seen you have seen a dream? Mm -hmm. But no need to get so excited. It's really nothing special. Oh, no, no, no. We need experienced participants like you to share your experiences with dreaming. Ah, yes. I am very special. My dreams are dreams. incredibly exciting. Oh, expert. Paimon kind of likes it. Now you seem interested. Yes, will I get paid? <laughs> <laughs> Rest assured, you'll find all the drinks and snacks. Yes, yes, payment and food. How accommodating. Sign us up. Uh, but wait, uh, Paimon's getting ahead of her. Yeah, time. yeah. We should see what the traveler thinks first. Uh, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> mm, I am the boss. to be dream experts. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Hey. Yo, some greeting stuff. Do you know what's the most important part of being an expert? Okay, by more. Okay. Uh, an interesting, I guess. Maybe. We're here. Sorry to interrupt, everyone. We finally have some real dream experts. Yeah. Esteemed experts, this way, please. <clears throat> now, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask them. Yes, ask us. They must be dream experts from another land. <laughs> oh, I have great assumption. Me first, me first. No rush. Everyone, please line up and ask in an orderly fashion. After some initial commotion, everyone finally forms a key. Wow. One by one, one by one. So That's the <laughs> That's the worst My you ever. My every Double file. Difficult, so I would like to become a slime in my dreams. How can I do that? <laughs> Okay, tell. Paimon became an animal slime. Huh? Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. The Not second cool. time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grass on her head. Oh, it was super painful. Not very cool. The third time, Paimon became a cry. Okay, but how to become the slime, Paimon? Your chicken really hold a grudge. Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? That's interesting. Because slimes are monsters, even though they look cute, they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by a thing. Whoa, 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 why are you using the keyword? Come on. Uh, 
Yeah. I suppose you're right. They are monsters after all. I just want to experience a different life, but it seems that becoming a <laughs> He wants to be reincarnated as a slime, perhaps? Hmm. Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch or fish. Well, looks like being mm. an expert is way easier than that. Oh, I was getting a jerks of cap. My words aren't coming out of my mouth I properly. What posture I should sleep in so I can have the same dream as the mm. last night. That's a toughie. Well, hey, there's something to be happening. <laughs> um, first, why don't you tell me? Oh, it's quite ordinary. Aw. I sat. Why don't you just find your wife and talk with her? Well, Ooh. Oh, passed, passed, away. passed away. Um, sorry. Are you listening? Hyman shouldn't have assumed anything. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. Oh. That's true. Think about it. You do have a all right, all right. <sighs> oh, my turn, my turn. Hum. The name of the plant in my dream. I what? Bring a souvenir box in my room into my dream. I dreamt of a raven flying over the wasteland last okay, night. Okay. Does that have any kind of special meaning? Maybe. Experts. Okay. Whoa, whoa! I didn't even really get to read. We're way too difficult. We don't actually know anything more than they do. We're just more experienced dreamers. That's all. You do mm. have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question. This is an and interesting festival. More of a now, me ask, like you answer. Like a Q and A session. What, what are you even talking about? Oh, and now that Paimon has said that, you know who comes to mind? Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. No, she would make it simpler. Right now, and may not have time for gatherings like this. Dear experts, we have another guest who would like to consult you. Uh, but you saw her. And suddenly Nahida. Ah, but this guest is rather... Special. Oh, it is Nahida. My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about such an interesting place? Huh? Nahida? How did you get here? I know what was not. Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Mm. We're the dream experts, what do you mean? Understands dreams, it's you. You should be able to help us answer all these oh, that, that, You make a good You're point. Not wrong. All right, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. Okay, wait, I got some questions too. Okay, okay, okay. So how do I exactly dream or make the dream huh? a dream? Like, how can I dream in a dream, you know? Yeah. So, it's not like I look super intimidating or anything, right? And in terms of reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru. Yet they didn't even flinch at you. That's true, so, that's true. The interesting questions have all Old Archon right there. I'll be intimidated. What do you mean? It appears I'm the one spoiling the fun here. Aww. No, no, you don't need to do that. That's not true, Nahida. To embody us, and then... They can, they can do the asking. Get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. Ah, oh, there's a certain the analogy. Here and settled, but it has lost its free flowing nature from the river. I just want it to be another drop in the water, not the cold and restricted container. Ornaida. Shy. The Dendu Archon is really nice, so please just go ahead and ask. Otherwise, she'll leave. No, it, what? Uh, all right. I like a thread or something? Or what? There you oh, go. It's the slime guy. Slime guy. Slime guy. <laughs> the way. Hey, 
drop the nicknames, would you? Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. Maybe a finch or fish is more suitable for me. Okay. I see. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? Mm -hmm. I guess I just want to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the sea. Yeah, but why a fish? The sky is right above me and the ocean just over the horizon. Yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. Damn, he's really speaking for all of us. experience something new in your dreams. Sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? Because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, mm. but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. By the time Bad. it all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. Poor guy. If that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. Mm. The reason is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into, your mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. Then what should I do? Change your everyday life. But how about replacing your hammer? Huh? Replacing my hammer? That's right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. I'll make your job easier, or what? Well, of course. A good hammer needs to be heavy enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps. And the handle has to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. You should replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Maybe some ornaments, fur, or hard leather wrapping. Then, write the names of your children on it. Hmm. That makes sense. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. A new mm. season of adventure often begins with the little things in life. Hmm. To a bird what's so, what's something that I could change? Oh, we'll make it a little more on my desk. All those things you cherish I don't know. Your source of happiness. Maybe get some more RGB lights. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye uh, for me. I'll go and now I want to know if he becomes like a fish with a hammer. I should make that of my own. <laughs> Thank you, great Dendro Archon. Add uh, Atta? Right, Slime guy. Actually, I didn't really understand the problem. Hmm. Um, I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. After a moment, He'd start to smile. It really surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. Mm. Mm -hmm. After observation, you know this kind of behavior motivates people. But why is that? Is I don't know the answer to that. Excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? I really don't know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these mm. kinds of things. You still need to understand, like, normal views. a bit nervous just now. But luckily, seeing as... Okay, but you're announcing all of this in front of the other people, so they probably don't want your advice anymore. Surely. People's feelings. Thanks, you too. That makes me feel a lot better. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? I already asked the experts my question earlier, but I wanted to hear the Dendro Archon's response. Okay. What should I do if I want to see All my right. deceased wife in my dreams every night? Every night? Longing for the deceased. 
if you keep reliving those beautiful memories, it will only highlight the emptiness in your real life. Mm. If your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, would she? That's true. That's no, true. I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. Damn, is she meeting you in like some spiritual world? Maybe it's because I miss her too much. But it's really yeah. as if she had come back to life in my That's dreams. That's painful. She even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, we can pick up our conversation. Wait, that's right insane. No way this is true. It's really amazing. Statistically speaking, ah, that's, dreams are extremely that's insane. Rare. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. But the more vivid she appears, oh, the no. emptier I feel, and the more painful it is when I wake up. I don't know whether to call it a blessing or a curse. Maybe all of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. Oh, that is back. Are there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? I don't know. I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life. Poor guy, man. I really felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper realistic dreams I've been having. Huh. You know. They say that whatever's on mm -hmm. your mind is what goes Especially if it's in the subconscious dreams. mind. But dreams are and will forever be just dreams. We are people living in the real world. It's not well, good to I mean, overly an archon. dreams. All it will do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. I still need to take care of our child. Oh, he has a job. And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. Did she give advice? I'm not really sure if I caught that. You're just talking. Hmm. I'm a little worried about him. I hope yeah, like control the dreams a little bit. I think I can handle things from here. You don't need to stay here if you find it boring. You're here to have a good time, after all. I don't know, that was kind of interesting. Oh, double Nahida. <laughs> Hello there. Do one of these. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. Let me talk to you. Little man. Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I think the Dendro Archon made a really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move uh, on with my life. I'm afraid you must. Now that I think about it, my wife and I always meet at a familiar place mm, in my dreams. Okay, getting to I the root of the problem. Exists in reality, but it's a bit far and dangerous. Okay, I'll go help you, bro. At the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. Perhaps. I'll be able to move on once I see that there's nothing there. Otherwise, I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in a haze. Mm. Like I'm only half awake. Once I can stop That's wild. About that place, I'll probably be able to get my life back together. Let's go, I'll help you. You two are adventurers, right? Yeah. If it's okay. Yeah, that might also be a good chance for us to unwind. Even if you can't see your wife there. Taking in some nice scenery will definitely help cheer you up. Yeah. For sure. I hope so too. Alright, go on. Call the music. You, whoa, 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 what do you mean tell her? Oh, no, 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 bad idea. Look, look, she knows. <laughs> Are you headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? Huh? Wait, aren't you supposed to be answering questions? I just finished, and I really got a lot out of it. So many interesting and novel thoughts. Anyway, it looks like you're going somewhere. Why don't you take me with you? Let's go. There's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. 
I imagine you must have many other important things to deal with. No need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I didn't have a good reason. I wanted That's to cool. use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Huh. I didn't know the great Dendro Archon could become puzzled too. God of wisdom. Puzzle. <laughs> Not a good look if I might taste it myself. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Am I actually gonna tell her? Like, it'll break the, the reality. So it's kind of interesting that after the Archon quest, we've been told that we were descendant. There's a lot to uncover there. Definitely some interesting stuff. But maybe this had this has something to do with that. To get some more insight. That'd be pretty good. Ooh, a dendroculus. I'm gonna be coming back for you. If you guys see any of like dendroculus on the map, it's just I'm keeping track. Of all the Dendroculus I take. So I'm using the Teyvat map. So right now, I'm just not going to collect these until I can do that. Suddenly, nighttime. Yeah, it's always nice to go for a leisurely stroll. Huh. Yes. Do adventurers often go to places like this? Yep. Huh. I guess so. So this is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? Yes. For the most part. Hmm. Oh, well, it's because it's withering. She's on the summit, just up ahead. When I saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary, mundane topics. I'd tell her about our daughter, Hydar, and she always listened intently. She would also reminisce about the past with me, telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes. It feels mm -hmm. like no matter how long we may chat, <laughs> look at the darn dark he does in the bite. It's never enough. Things in life that matter the most. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. I'm what? very familiar with dreams. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Normally, they lack logic and continuity. What is happening? But you said she could remember what you had told her before, right? That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now she's doing the same in my dreams. She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. Maybe Ermans all is connected. She can remember such things. Makes me feel like she's alive. Whoa, that's pretty weird. Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. However, the problem is that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. For example, a loud noise outside your window in the real world could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. Another example. If you're thirsty in the real world, then you might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dreams. Mm. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. Yeah. I don't understand it either. But I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. That is kind of true. They're too beautiful. But I still want to know Ooh, interesting. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. You use this word already. Have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. Yeah. I can love hikes. Okay. Thank you. Please tell me there's more. There isn't. Great. Just great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Okay, at least it's not that far. Look. I can get a chest from here. What am I gonna do? Ignore it. Let me... Let me jump! Let me jump! Jump! And we have arrived. Monsters. Huh? 
Oh. Are you going to buy tuna here? Of course. This is all part of our little trip. Archon destroys. Uh, Archon destroys the melee turtles just for fun. Hmm. Hmm. Damn, they're really going all out, huh? Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. An unfortunate end, but... Ooh, the big boy! Are we... This time we're gonna see the big boy. It's just this jungly thing there. Every day, either. I have yet to see anything strange about this place. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize dreams. His wife must be a really amazing person. Huh? Wait. Hmm? No. Oh, so you are waiting for me here? Well, you can what? you can see her. I have brought someone amazing with me today. When the Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me, what I is happening? It. I'll bring Hydar once I'm more familiar with the. Why is he talking all weird? She's been telling me. Is he hallucinating? Misses you. Huh? What's wrong with him? There's nobody there. Wait, Minar. Don't go that way. It's dangerous. Uh oh, he's gonna fall. Catch him. All right, let me just catch him. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't fall. But what was all that rambling about? He's in a dream now. Mm, that was interesting. What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams you subscribed to us earlier. Oh, so he fell asleep? And started to have the same dream? I find it a little strange as well. But we mustn't awaken someone while they're sleepwalking. All no, that's true. That's true. Late. Don't do that. Uh, and he woke up. That was pretty fast. Huh? Minar. Where's Minar? I don't know, but you chased her. Oh, good. You're finally awake. Uh, what happened? Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was all just a dream. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there and walked over to her. Mm -hmm. After I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. You didn't introduce I didn't us. Stop because of the cliff, and then she seemed to suddenly disappear. A strong wind started to blow around me, and the sky grew dark. When mm -hmm. I realized something wasn't right, I woke up. That sounds pretty wild. Maybe you were just too tired. He's really struggling. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday, and I don't feel very sleepy. I mean, you just had it like an app right there. The fact that Billy, his subconscious, constructs dreams by following him here. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. That is true. You, you might fallen. have not survived. Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Oh. Okay. A quick banishment. Yeah. What's on your mind? We still don't have enough evidence to work off of. So it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions yet. But I'm concerned that Ilman's case may not be unique to him. Oh, right. What do you mean by that? Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Right. Hmm, that's true because they had their dreams sucked. Now it's kind of... Yeah. We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. Then there's no time to lose. Let's head back. Stop standing there, Ilman. Let's go. Right, right. Chill. Chill. And he's sleep. Go back. Uh, down. 
Wait, oh, let me in, let me in. Okay, great. Oh, Act that seems fine. Back already. How'd it go? We have an emergency on our hands. Please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams, they mustn't try to visit or recreate the locations and scenes that they have been experiencing in That's them. true, that's true. You're gonna fall asleep. All right. If that's the wish of the great Dendro Archon. Yeah, now clasp your hands and say Could thank you. At least tell me what happened? You all look so serious. Tell Pete Pet Pedrish what happened under Tell them. I see. I never knew even a dream could be so dangerous. Don't worry. Very I'll dangerous. Sure to notify all the event participants and inform the other staff members about what has happened. Using the event registration right. list, my I best be guess more people that were interested is that dreams the sudden the ability to get dreams after destroying the Akasha system that now their dreams are being confused with real life and they start to hallucinate. Uh oh. Hammer a moment. Has she already left? Oh, I, I think she already left. She said there was somewhere she wanted uh -oh. to go. Oh no. Did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Can you tell us where she went? Yes, she did briefly mention it. Somewhere near Chatracom Cave. Chatracom. Oh, thank you. We'll go look for her. Please help Where's us that? tell the others not to do anything reckless. Sure thing. Oh. <sighs> Who would have known things would have turned out like this? Not me. I definitely wouldn't have known. Anyways. We're heading to the spot. Let's go. Alright, I'm still going with my hallucination thing. After restoring Ermansol and drawing the Akasha. The sudden effect of starting to get dreams is being confused with real life scenarios. That's why I'm having such trouble, man. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's guess I can make up with. Look, she's sitting over there. It's oh no, the monster! Come on. Boom. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Look, I'm healing us. Yes, but luckily she hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. Let's carefully move her somewhere safer. See you tomorrow, Professor Aisha. Ooh. Okay, so what happens if you wake up a sleepwalker? Huh? Why? Why am I back here again? Dreaming? Oh, I see. Why are you dreaming about your dream. professor? Well, that makes sense. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. Huh? Nearly 20 years, and it still hasn't bloomed. 20 years? Does it have something to do with your dream? Please. Tell us what you mean. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still feeling a little groggy. Please give me a moment here. <sighs> yeah. All right. Where to start? Right. This plant. So, Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. Uh -huh. She was a good friend of my parents and my first real tutor. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. Amorta. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, she was also skilled in combat and would accept lots of work from the Adventurers Guild. Oh, so you mean she's left them hmm, in the never returned? Yes. When I was about 10 years old, she oh. thought that she must go look for the secrets of the abyss. Mm -hmm. And that she would be gone for a long time. I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. Interesting. I didn't know what the abyss was. But I just knew that she was like family to me. She hugged me. And we cried for some time until I fell asleep. When I woke up, oh. I was already back home. She Edge. still decided to leave. But had left so behind a letter for me saying like that I was the person she one cared of the, the two we gang now. She claimed that 
Investigating the Abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they care about. She had obtained some important evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. Perfect opportunity? Perfect. isn't just a slogan. Mm-hmm. She left a seed in the letter, telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. She said oh. she looked forward to seeing me all grown up. But strangely, I've tried watering it, feeding it, everything I could think of. But I've never been able to get it to bloom. Oh, I man. The Amorta researchers, well, what is what is Amorta? They couldn't explain it either. May I have a look at the plant? Oh. oh in in the Dendro Archon Magic Dendro plant Dendro level up. Sprout that plant right up from the pot hmm. you're just gonna look at it no do your dendro stuff make it all bloom and sprout huh? We've never seen them look on face before. are you puzzled again she she looks a little unwell um hold on we'll be right back Aww. Are you good? Just the plant, man. What's wrong, Anita? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either? No, I immediately understood what's happening with that. Uh oh. I'm just not sure. No love, no plant. This plant is not known to the academic world. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some ah, things. The genetically modified plant. From the moment it sprouted, it will never be able to bloom. Unlucky. But it can't be. It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger and was prepared to never return. From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. When forced to confront such brutal truths, People may break down into tears, talk nonsense, or lose their tempers. I know she has to face the truth, but at the same time, I don't want to hurt her. Tell me, what should I do? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, gotta tell her. You've already got a good idea of the feelings she might experience. But wouldn't that mean I'm just pushing it all on you? What if she just gets angry at you instead? That's okay. It's all right. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's go back and tell her. Huh? It'll never bloom? Never ever. But Intended to never come back. If a plant is unable to bloom, doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? It... All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away. Yup. Are you saying she never intended to return? Seriously? So everything she said was a lie? Yeah. She meant well. Embrace the rage. The Unlock your delusion. Go crazy going the fit to your picture. Yeah. Her love, care, and attention to you? All those warm moments were real. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just just so much to find embrace. The rage. Dreams are so beautiful. Yet reality is heartlessly cold. A little busy. I really hey, thought she had come back. I had so much to tell her. These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. What kind of power? Really? Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation is completed. Please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. All the temptations. 
Thank you for rescuing me. And sorry for the trouble. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. What was the point of the plant? Otherwise, it's not gonna bloom. I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. Alright. Thanks, Traveler and Paimon. You're welcome. She seems to finally accepted the truth. But I think she'll still need a long time to come to terms with her feelings. I'm the truth giver. I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. It was almost like a gentle rain, arriving just in time to put out a fire that was about to spread. It's because people have something called empathy. Empathy? Empathy? Hmm, I see. This is valuable knowledge indeed. If you didn't know, God of Wisdom. By the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might what be? Do we? Yes. What's common between Ilmon and Katya's cases Damn it. is that they both lost someone dear to them. And now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. And the people feel more real than anything a regular dream could hope to create. Instead of interpreting it as a result of their longing, I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Mm -hmm. Someone is taking advantage of their longing. Who is this someone? Yeah, they're just causing these people more to stages. What are they after? This is exactly what we need to investigate. Anyway, let's again get the bad feeling about all of this. Go to the same place again. Are we going to go to the hammer guy? Because that guy might have hammered his life away. And that is just the truth. Right. Here I go. Just wait a moment. I'll be there. I'll be there. Oh no. What happened? How's everything here? Uh, I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. We're still trying to Look, figure they're, out they're dead. Explain. They're sleeping. Because of your warning, we brought dreamers here even if they were completely unaware of the danger. But some of them have already fallen asleep and they haven't woken up for a long time. I fear there's nothing we can do about it. A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have enough staff members to handle this. I mean, just as I expected. It seems my guess was correct. What do you mean by that? It's the guess. Archon. She's back. All in. Uh, what happened? W why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams, but I'm yes. sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind okay, it. Okay, can you tell us what it is? Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Huh? <laughs> I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on That's others. That's what you think. We've already met two people who ran off to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. That's right. These aren't just dreams. It's serious. Mm -hmm. All right. I get it. I get it. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we yes. can continue to enjoy the But for now, do not yeah, dream. I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon. But Don't fix it. We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who were very close to us. They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up. Yes, that's also what we've observed. Mm -hmm. So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, Ooh, we quite true. all of us understand the danger, but... Perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. Before the conclusion of the investigation, you'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. Is that fair? We've never had such a difficult situation. I feel like that's before. fair, but you're going to need like that not sort of help. People are willing to cooperate. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams. Our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. Mm. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. The more time we waste, I mean, you're the Dendro Archon. Just be cruel. And return to their <laughs> dreams. So, what should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. Oh, Tetris. let's go dream. Is there anyone here who is experiencing a marvelous dream right now? Marvelous dream. Uh, let me think. Uh, yes. Me dreaming Sorry. about some Prima gems. And summoning every character that I can. 
you know, was, I was a little pathetic to say, but it is what it is. Oh, Debbie, 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 who's Debbie? Oh, you, you're Debbie. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see, I see. And I'm the first stage of booer. Okay. Wait, my eyes are closed too. Mm -hmm. I, my, my feet are definitely in the sand right now. Being transported to another world. But there's, it's kind of irritating my feet a little bit, but I think I can handle it. But I do like the the, the waves, you know, wave sound the same. That that's what, you know, wave sound the same everywhere. Flashing, crashing onto the shore, making the little foamy bubbly sounds. All right, this is taking too long. <laughs> I thought I would be talking about waves for like twenty minutes there. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're in. Oh, what? Not as old. Either. You look a little disoriented. Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. Long sense of anyway, longing. Long sense of longing. A sense of longing would make sense. This is cool. Whoa. So many giant it's so cool. It's so cool. Look, we're so small. Alright. Boom. Wait, what? Oh, okay. This is sick. Too pretty in here. Uh, okay. Um, did he? Uh, yeah, come through. Oh, nice. But we gotta, we gotta take, we got. Okay, that'd be good. But we can't. Do one of these. One of these. Not cool how I separated, but I think I'll be fine. Take a little bit of picture there. Boom. One of these. Uh, where am I walking? Alright, cool. Wait, let me take a photo. Once, once the stuff is gone. Oh, we equip the camera. Camera, 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 camera. Alright, alright, we wait for this stuff to go. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, gone. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we do one of these. Oh, it's so pretty. No, I can't take a picture in the domain. Oh, I forgot this is the domain. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That is no bueno. But look kind of pretty. Yep, portal. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it was so sick. We've gone into another dimension. Hey, this place looks familiar. Ah, I've been here. Oh, I'm on Saint Debbie. She's right over there. Looks like we've come to the right place. These alluring dreams often portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous finding. Really? Yes. Well, this is most conclusive. You can't mean this is another collective dream. Mm -hmm. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams, 
I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Oh, but there are some other people next to her. Oh, uh, do we know those people? Are they dreaming too? If this face is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the others beside her are most likely the people she cherishes. Anyway, we should confirm that. Huh. How do we do that? Uh, pinch them. Just leave it to me. Okay. Oh, elemental skill. There seem to be many within the dreamscape whose hearts can Did I get too close? What were? Mm, the coffee here still tastes the same as ever. <laughs> you two have traveled all around to that. Surely you've all tasted better coffee than this. I suppose so. Yes, Bar. No matter how good things may be elsewhere, nothing beats the taste of home. That's, That's right. true. That's it's true. It's hard to change your tastes. Anyway, here's to your return home. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, so maybe the parents left and now he's making a nice chat. Hmm. And I know what she's thinking. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm? She sounds a little hesitant. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people. That makes her. sense. So, I know. This is the power of the Dendro Archon? Uh, I'm gonna better watch her thoughts from now on. <laughs> don't worry. I don't often use my powers like Oh. It's read bad. my brain and then she would know about Ruka the Vata. I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. The, the Great Dendro Archon! Uh, what brings you here? I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but... Have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. I I'll tell it. you. The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here. Mm -hmm. Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from no, a no. adventure. No, no. Oz. Oz. Think carefully. You of all people shouldn't... Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? Is it idiots? Yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. Ooh. I never heard from Vasima and Gaspar again. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about? Yeah. So not parents, maybe friends. I get it, but since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I enjoy the way things are here. Ooh. I no longer have to face the little mad. of real life. These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream. Is there? I mean, a little bit. To continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. These dreams will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks? Hmm? I'm down. I, I'm down for some coffee. Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. You can't just mm. off something like this. We don't even know how you people no, got No, no, it's fine. Just, came from. just ignore everything, you know? <sighs> Sorry. And... Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. Yeah. No, it, it's all right. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. It seems that for now, this place... But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the... Huh. Now that... I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but... Okay. Just as I expected. Mm -hmm. Surface level three. Right. Let's go see the cool stuff. <laughs> Wait, can I read more stuff? Hey. Oh, still, still just. It's all just a dream. This is really cool. Oh. Back in this area. This is like the main hub, you know? Wait a second. We were just up there. Nope. Downstairs? Uh, did we go up or down? 
Don't panic. This is how dreams work. We mm -hmm. left Debbie's dream, but the dream is still continuing onward. I'm not sure where it'll lead us. Well, one of the other individuals' this dream has dreams. The ability to create imaginary people, which is why people are so unwilling to wake up. If it weren't for what we just saw, Grandma might still find that a bit hard to believe. I have a guess. If these dreams are connected, mm -hmm. then there should be some sort of order to them. Okay. The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming means she is not very Wait, really in the dream yet. But the space we're in has been turned up. Pretty sure you have to be in rapid eye movement. Do you remember the characteristics right. of dreams that I mentioned earlier? Oh, right. Dreams are chaotic. That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. Uh, to the heart of the bee. We'll get to the essence of the dream. Right. So the answers might be waiting for us deeper in the yes. And we should get ready for whatever we Yeah, let's fight and do stuff. Hmm. It looks like we may need to put something in Yeah, one of them ones. Boom. Look at that. I'm an engineer. All right, what is you, huh? What is you? You're a dendro big boy. We call them plants. Oh, cool. Take this. Boom. <laughs> it's just so satisfying to play as there. All right. One of them ones. And then one of these ones. And then more of these ones. Oh. I don't know if I was supposed to go in that just yet. No, I heard a chest. Okay, never mind. Chest is here. When it rains, it seems to disappear slowly. Yes. Okay, do one of these. Yes. Weren't you the one making analogies earlier, Paimon? With the weird dendro slimes and the cryo slime. And the whole shebang. Alright, alright. I'm good. One of these? There we go. No we go in another dream now. Oh. Up, up. Oh, it's the the Ilman. It's, it's Ilman's dream, right? Are we already here a little earlier? This is probably Ilman's dream. Ah, yeah. yeah. Why would he start dreaming again? Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his life. It's quite the strong what we've learned so feeling. Far. For his dreams to appear here, but fortunately, he already knows us from before, so hopefully, we'll be able to wake him up. Oh, well, that's true. I think familiar might actually wake him up and make him realize he's in a dream. That makes a lot of sense. Why do I have to walk like two centimeters? Just you don't have to do walking in between. Ilman. Daughter and wife, oh, it's you. Incredible. I didn't know you would appear in my dream, too. Here we are. Wait, so you know this is a dream? Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in real life. These oh, days. is she dreaming too? Here, let me introduce everyone. This is Minar, my wife, who I mentioned before. And this is our daughter, Hydar. Hello. It's a great honor to meet the Dendro Archon. Yes, hello. Oh, Dad, you know the Dendro Archon? That's amazing. And what's this? <laughs> Joy. No, it's Paimon, not a toy. Ugh. Anyway, now's not the time for that. Nikita, this doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting. Hmm. You're right. Let me think. Oh, right. Mm. He was in a moment of dreams earlier. Paimon thought he'd gone home. Oh, sorry. And back to the place. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. Oh, I knew it. So he did get her into that. So I brought Hydar with me. 
I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along the way. Yes, I'm glad too. I didn't expect you to grow up so fast. It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to focus. So it does her regret. Why isn't a mother? No, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this. This to be so sad. What should we do now? Should we tell him the truth? Yes. You can You can let me break the news. Oh. I should be the one to do it. I'm sorry, but I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream, and we've already learned some things about it. So you mean, there's something nefarious with this dream as well? <laughs> he used the word nefarious. It seems the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Huh? Is mom leaving? Maybe. It's so. But in all likelihood, that is indeed how things will end. Oh. Don't say that to a child. No, Mom, you can't leave. I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Don't worry, Hydar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Minar doesn't understand any of this. I'm fully aware that this is a dream. So that's why I've never told her the truth, but never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. I mean, oh, really, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. But regardless of whether this dream is good or bad, you're here to resolve it, right? Yes. Then please, let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. All right, let us leave. Of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. Kind of cool. But does this dream really have to disappear? I'm afraid so. Sorry. Okay, please. Come this way. Thank you. Go even deeper into the does he know? <laughs> How does he know? Yeah, just go over here go, and you go, go deeper. The more pleasant the dreams become. And the more you want to stay. The answer you're looking for may also be found there. Thank you for helping us. And I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'm oh, just wow. a very person after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? I'll and be right behind you. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. Right. Go. Nopers. How you define good and bad. It's the same place again. We're this bad, is bad a people. Of stairs that connects all the dreams together. But they appear to be getting more and more aggressive. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Stairs? Right. Something Saint Oman is clearly aware that he's dreaming. Uh -huh. He's enjoying Debbie didn't know though. He was lucid. I believe we're on the right track. But we just need another explanation. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper. It's the only oh. attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Sometimes I, I mean almost sometimes dreams could be real, but it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about other things. Like sticky honey roast. Listen. We're real beings living in the real world, and that's where our focus should be. Mm -hmm. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams will become far more substantial. Oh, oh. I'm starting to get it now. Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively. Which in turn will make it feel more real. Do you remember how Maybe that's why. you can turn dreams into Nyana? Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. There's another dream out there that's responsible for this. Host of these dreams here like Milo during the Cicero's festival? If we wake that person up, this collective dream 
will end, right? Mm-hmm. Most likely, but the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha. This has nothing to do with the Aranara. The humans are not capable of creating a collective dream. Which means... Huh? So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? I don't know about that. That's impossible. But they are probably a scholar at the Academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Even so, how did they manage to do it? And how did they choose the hope? Yeah, we have it. Once you know their motive, all the questions will... All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm starting to get a little bit impatient. So if I skip through the dialogue, I don't really mean to. But it's kind of... I just kind of read through it. And it's kind of a bad habit, but I'll get... Okay, I'll get better at it. Right. Sorry, but I can destroy you now. It's not personal. Not personal. Goodbye. And TP. Oh, that's a lot of individuals. That. That. One of these. One of these. One of those. And boom. Ooh. Let me grab one of these. Thank you. Right back at the same spot. Kind of cool. I mean, you said before about it. To pass that. Right. Hello? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll swim. Uh, <coughs> Jungle, do you need uh, assistance? Alright, thank you. Jung. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely not meant to be in this level. Alright. Oh, I have. I have the things, I have the things. Teleportation again? Oh, we're here. Wow. Yeah? Okay, never mind. That was my guess. But I guess not. Junior Zod? Uh, well, it's just new to Paimon in this dream. This should be the final destination. Huh? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are just ordinary city streets. But look at all the powers related oh. to dreams. So it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created by dreams. I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted this dream will be able to come here. There are so many people here. How can we find the hope? Don't worry. Easy peasy. I have a way. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay. Boom. I found him. Such good taste. I can never go wrong with her opinion. No, it doesn't seem to be her. Never mind. Alright, watch this. Boom. Doesn't want a dream to last forever. He's just entered the dream recently. It's definitely not him. Boom. Sometimes I wish Rakesh could be more assertive, but I guess I'm also happy enough with the way things are. No, it's not her, unfortunately. You. Never mind. Ah, of course, Amira. Never mind. You know, I've heard that plants grow better if you play music for them. And on that note. It's been a while since I last heard you play. Okay, play. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. And walking away. Oh, the Dendro Archon. What a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. 
Welcome, Great Dendro Archon, and your companions too. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here, and this is my husband, Moses. Moses. Yes. How may we help you? You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. Perhaps I should call you the dreams owner. Hmm. Are you not scared? <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. Oh, why you laugh like that? I'm sorry, Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help you a little later. Okay, of course, dear. Why do all the story quests have like meaningless? It that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person. Like villains. It's just they disappear right after the story quest. And they're not long lasting. First question. Kind of unfortunate. How well would you say you understand this dream? Hmm. How well do you this understand this dream? By the Akasha, and it has the power to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. As for you, you found a unique way to become the owner of this dream, going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. Nani? Given up the ability to wake up? <laughs> oh my! Impressive. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. Please, tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. In return, I'll answer the question you're most curious about. It's simple. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created. Uh -huh. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. He's not dreaming? Make up a person who's already awake. Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. True. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. That's but true. Even knowing all of that, one question remains. How did you do it? Is it the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. Is that what? I uploaded my entire consciousness into ah. it's still running. Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one. Is the one shared sentiment between all mm -hmm. our dreamers. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Just ask the doctor to make you one. Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful enough for me to generate and sustain my models. The Akasha is truly magnificent. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. And even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. Even using just crude methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. I named my first work Amira. Ah, she's not even real. Oh, you creepy, huh? creepy Did dude. You the girl we just saw? She and I entered the academia on the same day. Starting with admission procedures, we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. We studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. Okay, so actually real person? Step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. However, Ella's eye later uh. from me. Yes, I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. Okay, but he's still creating... It's still kind of creepy. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted six wicked, wicked man. I could connect them to a network. Could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm human personality. To improve my efficiency, right, time to fight. myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well and became a part of the. Ooh, you just did the Dendrocons work right there. So, technically speaking. It's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't wake up. Yes, because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. I became imprisoned in the uh -huh. very network I had constructed. At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation, I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. Bobby, everyone 
in the network is providing you with Nyana energy. Damn, that's some. That's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, bro, this sounds exactly like the. For the dream. Was the Genjutsu and Naruto the final one? Infinite Tsukuyomi? <laughs> Dream world. This is taken straight from Infinite Tsukuyomi. Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. I don't understand this at all, but I just want to spend some more time with my family. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon. Nope. You can Time to shut this thing down. You don't Oop. need to gather around here. It's all right. The great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate towards her people. Uh-oh. Now he's playing mm, dirty. Very dirty. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, then there's nothing the Archon can do. They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong with <laughs> that? If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand the absolute devastation of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. It makes a kind of a good point, but I don't know. You have used your talents and determination for a just cause. You could have become a sage of the new generation. Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the academia by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. You equated people's feelings with cold Nyana energy and deprived them of the pain that they have to face. Mm. You lured them into these dreams and even now remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly is. Pain? Luring? Those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. Crazy, crazy individual. She's right here. This is Ilman's child, Hydar. Huh? My daughter? What's wrong with her? Hmm? This dream relies on a set network, which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. What do you mean? Carefully think back and retrace your steps. I secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Minar was already there waiting for me, and Hydar was able to see her mother. Oh. You mean she is huh? actually the real Hydar? No, because unlike you, she can't enter this dream. The moment you came into this dream, it's oh. you realize your wish of reuniting with your family. So he entered the dream state instantly as he here. Oh, she's alone up there. She's still out there on the mountainside. That's right. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. Hmm. Not the monsters in that area. The situation is very dangerous. If Hydar's still out there... Then... You gotta wake up, dude. What are you talking about, Dad? I don't understand. I must wake sick, up right sick, now. Mosey. I can't leave her there alone. Oh. <sighs> It seems the others have also remembered something. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. This is human. However, why are there still so many people striving to move forward even when they know the path ahead is dangerous and painful? It's because that's true. people don't only live for themselves. They that's have true, families, that's true. Loved ones, friends, and communities. Very wise of the God of Wisdom. <laughs> Why was that so funny? This entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. It's all just a well devised evil, evil, evil. It seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. I still have so many things I haven't done. <laughs> I thought gods didn't understand humans. That would have explained why they created such a flawed world where countless tragedies took place. I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. But unfortunately, it means nothing now. If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with the Neon. Mm. 
creepy, creepy as long dude. As dream continues to exist, you'll come back. Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. It's time to purge all the extraneous data and noise. Yeah, you want to fight now? Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's do it. Fight. Watch this. <laughs> we have two gods in here. Just chill. We can hang out in the corner. Wait, I got to do one of these. Boom. Boom. Is that, is that a threat? I think I'm afraid, afraid if you're a little threat, my boy. There we go. That was uh, fast and easy. <laughs> you haven't won just yet. This dream is mine. If I okay. go hiding here, not even an archon can ever find me. And as long as people yearn for happiness, they will return here. And Bro, you you crazy, paradise. man. Uh oh. The glitching out of the system. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Also, their loved one just kind of became monsters. That is creepy. Uh oh. The biggest monster of them all. Oh no. Amira, are you all right? I don't feel well. This is how the Hilly Turtles were created, no? No, no, no. Please, no. Oh, the big boy. <laughs> oh, this is cruel. Oh, what? Hey, yo. Talking to me through the monster? Take this and this and this. That was creepy. turned into monsters including Amira It's terrible Plan has foiled Even Paimon's freaked out <sighs> Yeah Paimon can't imagine what they're going through The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided Now I right, dream over to wake up the people here and let them return to their real Amira My dear Amira They're all Yeah, it must be devastated after all of that a Big dream after all I couldn't change my fate, and my knowledge turned out to be useless. What a cruel loss! Thing. Really cruel. Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care about that anymore. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into monsters. This dream will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Let me disappear with Amira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. Everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. Hmm. I mean. Yep, I agree. Seeing a mirror turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. After comprehending the hollowness of the unreal, it's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Existence? <laughs> I'm different from the others. I've long given up everything outside of my consciousness. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here and put it inside a knowledge capsule. 
The academia has probably kept your body, so you should be able to wake up soon. No need. Just let me disappear. Reality means nothing to me now. This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape your punishment by simply disappearing. Ah. Oh, time for That's true Archon time. It will be up to you how you want to exist. Alright, traveling Paimon. We should go back. Yes, we should. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. Bloop. Is it a portal or... What's going on now? Whoa. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, she found out. What's wrong, Aida? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, let's tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after they wake up. Oh, wait. The brother. No? The brother? the One of the stars? Because at the very beginning of the game, it was like two stars and then she fell. Or like they got separated. That type of thing. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Speak! I must know! Wake. Yeah, we're awake. Started to wake up, and we've heard similar reports from, from the looks of Very it, good. You were able to successfully resolve the issue. Yes, though it took us a good deal of effort. Good. I would say great. Here shortly, so please do your best to maintain order. I need to go to the academia with them now, but we'll be back soon. Thank. Academia time. Are we going to ask about that scholar? Yes, but it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. Hello, lady. It's the great Dendro Archon. How can I help you? Yeah, just let us in. Registration records of the Kasharawar scholar. He should be in an unconscious state right now. Huh? Okay. No, no, let us in. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Bainuni who's been unconscious Bainuni. for a while. The cause was improper operation of the Akasha. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, and is still receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Huh? Isn't it? Made up name. I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. Understood. But for safety reasons... Who is the Dendro Archon? It's yes. simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. I see. I'll take care of this right away. Thank you. You're most welcome. Mm -hmm. No problem. All right. Everyone should... Oh, now we're heading back. Yeah. But like I came all the way up here. I gotta go all the way back down. No, let me up. Okay. Let's just... be quiet and just listen in. I wonder what she's going to say. Hello. Uh, Hello. I've just woken up. I've I'm been awake for a while, actually. Your beautiful dreams. I mean, it was okay. I acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I, I mean, you're the Archon. I apologize for that. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity. Adversity! And help those with aspirations achieve their desires. The dreams mm -hmm. also have the potential to exploit people, <laughs> confuse the senses, and distort the truth. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate what? scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. It is okay, my Archon. And you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. You should be proud that you've been able to gather. Thank you for your assistance, my Archon. Together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. What's mm. the meaning of life? Oh wow, we're going to that. We're going. <laughs> we're getting all the way to that. Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? Of course, the most comfortable.
impossible choices to stop progressing. Give up thinking and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar wow. with. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. Some people were a lot of people need to hear this so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavaf. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. Mm. <sighs> Look, friends and family will remember what you've done. And even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Therefore, That's many people will strive to think about. to forge new paths. Even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Once True. you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, you'll come to know the answers to those big existential For questions. every great pain. They will no longer feel this life defining. Every great before. pleasure. But if you were to believe that life is always is suffering. An empty, ephemeral dream. That is the reality. The only thing it will ever become. You are free to choose how you want to live your lives. But as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. Mm -hmm. Well said. Nahida said she wanted to speak mm -hmm. with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. No! No, I have to do another one! Okay, here we go. Um, we're still in the story quest, and we finally got that other situation under control. And this is the end part of it. Yeah. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature, but perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them mm. long ago. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. It was very luring. See through it and easily lost themselves within it. I definitely got lost. As long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. Huh? What makes you say that? Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You yeah, good job. job. Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey. Okay, time to tell us about that shooting star. Have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong. And what they wanted was... Yeah, yeah, that's cool and all, but that's the shooting star. Okay, okay, but the shooting star. That's true, that's true. The shooting star? Um, in... That's true. Be way more confident. Yes, exactly. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. As long as you acknowledge the shooting star that you've seen, then we'll be on the same page. I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. The moment I entered the dream. I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. Ooh, a light it was blanket. So warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. Oh. Oh, so she was a shooting star. But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. But I can still see the slight indentations hmm. where words have been written. I mean, you can kind of see it. Now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of yeah. it. Yeah. Gone and that. I can tell I was once supported by that warmth, and its existence has allowed me to get to where yeah, I like today. that. I like. If I dwell too much on its exact nature. I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to an I mean, you could do that. So That's sufficient, but... Live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. Wait, I didn't even see that in the game. How would you that analogy? Hmm? 
I don't I didn't see any horse in the game. You can read your mind. You keep looking like there's something you want to say. Is there anything you want to tell me? <laughs> Since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. I didn't just wake up. I've been awake this whole time. About to begin. Ooh, it's pretty. That was that. Thank you, Nahida. Very cool. Alright, now that was the ending. So, yeah. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. That was the ending. Uh, That was kind of a long one. It took around an hour and a half. Maybe a little bit longer. I'm not sure. But that was pretty fun. Uh, For the most part, it was kind of enjoyable. But the part where I had to like redo all the steps and re just not read everyone's mind but everyone had to tell me what was in their dream and it was kind of a little repetitive with what was happening but the domain was cool i mean most story quests do the exact same thing they kind of just put you in a domain and they try out the character they're like oh whoa nate is actually kind of cool i kind of wanted to know but i think this was actually one of the better ones Thanks for that, Nahida. But yeah, it was definitely an enjoyable one. And uh, yeah, for now, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys...